So in the latest Nomad update version 1.99, you can see a new icon has appeared over here in the top right toolbar, the operation tool. And here we have these sliders, which are gonna make sculpting and texturing experience in Nomad even better. Let's take a look at them. So the smooth and the inflate slider are mainly for sculpting. Now, if you scroll down, you can see a few sliders down here. These are for texturing, painting and masking. These two relax sliders are pretty similar to this face group relax I talked about in the previous tutorial. But here the slider values go beyond 1000% thus giving us more control. So here I have this year sculpture I made as practice. I'm pretty happy with the forms and shapes but the surface looks pretty rough. Now. I could use the smooth brush to smooth the surface, but I have to be very careful with it since it can destroy these subtle forms. So instead, I will now use this smooth slider and experiment with the value to achieve that smoothness. Look how it smooths out the surface beautifully, although I won't go overboard with it. You have to kind of play around with the value of the slider. Now let's take a look at inflate. Let's pretend that this is back of a frog or skin of some creature you have sculpted. Now to add warts, I will simply draw some mask like this. Invert it and then use inflate slider like this. Similarly, you can use it for sci-fi panels like this. Or countless other things. This is super useful. Now let's move on to the texturing section. Here we have a sphere and now I'm gonna choose this gold material and paint on it. Now if I wanna change the color of it later, I can simply play around with the hue slider. These other sliders also give me more control. I can desaturate it, increase contrast. I can even change the shininess of the material by enabling this roughness and then playing with these sliders. I can even blur the edges if I want with this slider. Blurring mask is also possible. This will make texturing process much more flexible. So there are countless possibilities. So I hope you found it useful. Subscribe for more tutorial like this. I will see you in the next video.